Hey everyone, it's Ryan with The Smart House. And on today's video, we're gonna revisit our quick tip section called Three Minute Thursday. And I'm gonna quickly try to show you how to set up the new Tuya integration in Home Assistant. Now, in previous months, this integration was still in beta, but in the October release in 2021, the new Tuya integration has been fully integrated into Home Assistant and it is now the default Tuya integration. Now this isn't as simple as the old version where you just put your username, and password, and server in. You actually have to go in and create a development account. So because of those additional challenges, I figured I'd go ahead and create a quick video and show you how to set this up. Now, I will be honest, this was actually supposed to be the tail end of this week's video, but the video is gonna be 20 minutes long. So I decided to split it off into its own section, release it today, and then tomorrow release the other video, which is a review on some smart home products. So you may notice that the background here changes from day to night. That's because I I recorded some of this already early in the day and had to finish up and re-record the intros and outros as I split it up in two different videos. So if you see the background change, that's why. So let's go ahead and put three minutes on the clock and let's jump into the rest of the video. Uh, first thing, I'm gonna link here below to the Tuya GitHub page that has the descriptions. So if you wanna follow through and click on the links, you can do that as well. I'll also post the links at the bottom as we go through each section. So in this first part, we need to go to the Tuya Dev Center. So if you go to this URL here below, it'll take you to the development center where you can go through and set up the proper API keys. So you wanna go ahead and sign in here with the same email address and password that you already have for your Tuya account. This is probably the most complex part of this whole process is setting up the right API key for your home assistant. So first up we need to do is click on the cloud here on the left hand side and create a cloud project. So we need to give it a name, select an industry, doesn't really matter what it is. Development method needs to be selected as smart home so you have the proper APIs available to you. And for data center, you can select whichever one's closer to you. So in my case, we can use Western America data center and click create. So under this select API services heading, we need to use the device status notification API. So if we scroll down, we'll find it here at the bottom, click over, and that'll add it to the pre-built ones over here. Then we need to click authorize. So it's going to authorize each of the different APIs for us. Now we have an access ID and client ID and a client secret. Now in this case, this is going to be my test environment. So I'm not going to blur the keys out. Don't use my keys because I'm going to delete them as soon as this video is over with. All right. So we have our two keys here that we can leave pulled up and grab later on. But first we need to go over to devices and then click link to your app account and add app account. So this is where we're gonna take our developer account and link it to our Tuya app account. So we need to open up our Tuya app, open up our Tuya app, and then we can go to me, click this little line with a square around it, which is the QR code scanning one. Gotta give it access to that. And then we go ahead and scan our QR code. So we confirm the logon. And now we see it has linked our Tuya app with our development app. So that means we have access to all of our devices inside of there. So if I click on the devices tab, you'll notice that I've got all of my devices that I've created before now are available in this integration. That's a super important because if you don't do this app link, you your development account won't have access to anything. And so when you add it to Home Assistant, you'll get no devices. So once you get past this stage, you know that your development account and your app account are linked and now you can go through the next process which is adding to home assistant so to do that we need to kick back over to our home assistant go to configuration integrations add an integration and we'll search for tuya now before we get the tuya integration set up in home assistant one thing i will note is you need to make sure you are you're on version 2021.10.4 or later so if you're on 2021.11 the november release then you're good to go so if you're running a version prior to 2021.10.4 and you don't want to upgrade Upgrade to the latest version. I've got links down here below to the four instructions for the beta integration that is compatible with the older versions of Home Assistant. If you are running a more current version, then let's go ahead and click on configuration and go to integrations, add integration and search for Tuya. Now, if you are presented with accessing your Tuya credentials with the username and password, you do not have the current version and you either need to install the beta version or upgrade your version of Home Assistant. So that's the way you can tell. It doesn't say uh, ver version two anymore because they have officially adopted it into Home Assistant. So if you are not being asked for an ID and secret, then you are running the older version and you either need to upgrade. Not all devices that are in the Tuya app are supported under the old version one Tuya integration. All right, so we're gonna 
select the United States because that's where I selected my, my server from. Pop back over here, go back to the authorization tab, and we're gonna go ahead and copy the client ID which is this first one, paste that into the access ID here. And then for the secret, we're gonna copy that one and paste it in. Now for your account, username and password, this is gonna be your developer account information, not your Tuya app in case you have different passwords for them. So once we're done, we click submit and it will go ahead and, and set up. Now we, we know it's successful because we see all of the various devices that I already have in my account set up on here. So we can go ahead and just click finish. Now, if you wanted to dig in and see the different uh, devices and control them, we can click this seven devices button here and we'll see all of our devices that we have in the two app. So this is everything that you've added before this step is in here right now. Now, if we look back here, I've got some other devices like my 3D printer power. Now, if you notice over here with my 3D printer power, uh, this is one of the sockets I told you about that does have the capability of doing things like uh, power control. So those are disabled, but you can just pop in here and enable these entities. And the next time it refreshes, you'll get the power consumption and current consumption on those devices. So that's for a non, um, not the Costco ones, these don't support that, but for other ones like the uh, two ones that support the two-year white labels, those will have those functionalities in there as well. So, all right, so we didn't exactly make it under three minutes, but we were pretty close. Hopefully now you can set up all your two devices, including those that are white labeled in Home Assistant and be able to control those in there. And I know there are some functions that don't come through from the Tuya app to the Tuya integration, but hopefully they'll improve those over the coming months. It looks like the Tuya development team is really working hard to try to make this a great integration. Now, I know some of you are gonna be asking me questions about, about the Tuya local integration, which I have not gotten to yet, but I will hopefully be able to look at in the next few months. All right, so if you found this video helpful, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel by clicking our logo here. And if this is the day after I release this video, Video. The next video in the series will be up here. And if you want to watch more videos about Home Assistant integrations, click here. Thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow.